Hello Luminaires, Bilal aka Colvier. happy to announce version 5.3 has now been released. We have a lot in store for version 5.3 and we can't wait for you all to try out all the new things. This video is going to be pretty long so we've broken up this video into multiple chapters that you can see in the description down below. But anyway, let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Pulsoid is our first big integration in the list. We've teamed up with Pulsoid to bring you the ultimate lighting experience where your lights can literally react to the same rate as your heart. While playing a scary game and your heart rate is extremely high, you can have an alert go off where it plays a sound or says something in chat or even triggers your OBS setup or, you know, even change your voice using our voice mod integration. There's so many options that you can do. And as mentioned earlier, we also have a BPM sync feature where your heart rate can match your lights. So to start off, we're going to head to Lumia Stream and we're going to head to Connections. We're going to go to Streaming Services and add new connection. You'll see Pulsoid right here. Just click that and press Connect. Now you'll be able to log into your Pulsoid account. Now do note that this requires the Pulsoid Bro plan to connect to Lumia Stream. If you do not have it, you need it. They do offer a trial. So I'm going to X off because I already have mine connected. And you'll see Pulsoid show up here as well as you'll see a heart rate show up in the top left. You'll want to, you know, put your heart strap on and everything just so you can start seeing it working. Now we're going to go to alerts and we're going to go to activity monitor. You're going to make sure your preference is set to Pulsoid and you'll see your different levels. So these different levels are just your conditions that's going to trigger whenever your heart rate reaches this level. So when it, my heart rate reaches 90, this alert is going to trigger. It's going to change my lights to green. And if I wanted to play an audio, I'll just select an audio here or say I wanted to trigger a smart plug or turn my key lights off or on, trigger a chatbot message, text to speech, OBS, or so on and so forth. You can do that here. If you wanted to add another level rather than just our 90, 110, 130, 200, 150, 150 is actually when I create it, then you'll need premium number one, but then you just press add level and you can add the condition right here. So I can go to condition value, Make sure condition is greater than or equal to condition values 150 and I'll give the name just 150 and I'll change my color to the emerald color. And that's about it. My duration, I just want be, wanted to be for four seconds. And now whenever my hurry reaches 150, this alert is going to trigger. Now I'm going to save this and just test it out just to make sure everything's working. Cool. So we're going to have a full tutorial to go more in depth with the pulse mode integration. These are just the bases, but we also, if you come on a studio and then BPM sync, you'll see your BPM sync options, which, which can be used as a default state an idle state or as a command where your chat can just trigger for a certain amount of time. Uh, and it will just link to your heart rate and match your lights heart rate. So if I turn this on as my default state, I will be able to see my lights flashing. So my lights are just going to flash to the 70 beats per minute. And we're good to go. And the why it's flashing pink is because I set the default color as pink, but you can also set it to your alerts. That's what this dynamic type means. So this alerts activity monitor are all the ones where it will trigger a different color. So when my heart rate's above 90, it's going to be green. And when it's above 130, it's going to be orange. So I'll just go back here and that's about it. That wraps up the pulse load integration. There's a lot more, but we will have a full tutorial for this. So stay tuned for that. So next up on the list is Alexa. This is a very exciting integration because we have all of these different integrations linked together and now they can all be controlled through Alexa. Now, if you have a command set up in Lumia Stream, you'll be able to change, you know, your OBS setup. You'll be able to change your voice using voice mod. You could even trigger things like, you know, API commands using Alexa's voice and all of your different Echo devices will work with this. So if we go over to the screen, you'll see the dashboard and if we go to connections, you'll see streaming services. So we're going to press add new connection and you will see Alexa. Let's click that and press connect. So here is where we even give a demo of getting started with Alexa. So if you, you know, you go to your mobile app, you go to more, you go to your skills, you'll type in Lumia stream and you'll see Lumia stream show up as a skill. Just click that, launch it. I will ask you to log in, make sure you're logging in with your credentials with Lumia stream. And that's it. Then you have Lumia linked up and you can say something like Alexa, tell Lumia stream to change the color to purple. Or you could say something like Alexa, change Lumia stream to police, which triggers a command. So you can either trigger commands by saying tell Lumia stream or ask Lumia stream to change color to purple, blue, red, whatever color you want to do. Or you can just trigger a command by saying Alexa, tell Lumia stream to change to police or tell Lumia Stream to change the any English word that you have set up inside of Lumia Stream as a command. So you wanna make sure these are kinda of like one words and easy to say. 
let your mind go wild with this. You can trigger anything that LumiStream already connects to using the command. So you just go to commands and you'll create your command. So I can create a command like tree and do something cool where I'm, you know, connecting my slobs or OSC or even my, my MIDI devices. All my different DMX stage lighting equipment can be controlled through Alexa at this point. You can even trigger input events where it's changing your keyboard, trigger scripts with your command runner. Pretty much anything LumiStream can connect to, now you can do through Alexa. We're expanding our integrations out to the ever-growing community in the Home Assistant DIY scene. Whatever lights or smart plugs Home Assistant supports, we're gonna support them as well because we support Home Assistant. And it's extremely simple to set up. We're just gonna go to connections, add lights. We're gonna select home assistant. You'll automatically get your IP address. So we're gonna copy this IP address, paste it in our browser. You're gonna log in and then go to your name where it says it at the bottom left. And you're gonna scroll all the way down so you see long live access tokens. I'm gonna create a token. I'm gonna name it Lumia Stream. Press OK. And now you'll have your access token. So you're just gonna press Control A to make sure you're selecting all of the words in here. Press Copy with Control C, and then come back to Lumia Stream where you press Control V to paste it in. And then just press Check, and then all of your lights will show up. So I'm gonna select those, and now my lights will be connected through Home Assistant. You could also connect your smart plugs by going here and pressing Add New Connection under Smart Plugs, and you'll press Home Assistant and Connect. And now it'll show all of your different smart plugs that can be triggered. These are not all smart plugs, but most of them are. So my WLED is a smart plug and I can select that as well. And I can use it throughout the app. It's that simple. Next up on the list is our highest requested feature on our ideas website. This is Twitch subscriber user levels. You now can choose between tier three, tier two, or tier one subs. If you go to add a command, you'll see under user level, you'll see tier three, tier two, and tier one subs when you're using the Twitch user levels. If you're not using Twitch, you wanna go back to commands and you'll wanna press user levels and select your selected platform. So YouTube, Facebook, Trovo, or whatever platform you're using. And this will filter out the different user levels that you can use for that platform. Over Twitch, you have tier three, tier two, and tier one that you can use. So now you can set up either your chat commands or Twitch points to use those user levels. Another highly requested feature is our individual chatbot commands. If you go over to chatbot, you'll no longer see the commands anymore. That's because it's been moved to each individual command. You'll see, still see a lights and lights list and is here and is busy. But for individual commands, you'll go to command and you'll go to your command and you'll see chatbot up here. And now you can have the chatbot say whatever you want it to say for each individual command. So if I set up a command like water, I can have reply with is wet. So let's do water, change the color to a bluish color, press apply, refresh, and I'll go to my Twitch channel and type in water. So water and a reply is wet. Lumia stream will reply is wet. So now you can trigger each individual chat command to what you want it to say. You can also change it, trigger it on Twitch points. You could trigger it on alerts and you could trigger it on Twitch extensions or trouble spells. Pretty much anything you can use in Lumia, you can trigger chatbot now. Excited news for our developers in the community. Our Lumia stream developers API is now available at lumiastream.com slash dev. And then most importantly is that the developers API will be available both with starter and premium users. And this will include both the REST API and our WebSockets API where you can listen to events that happen within Lumia Stream. To get this set up, you'll just head to settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see your enable REST API. Just make sure you enable that and then copy the token. We'll also continue building onto this API as well as releasing a plugin system in the future. So keep your creative juices flowing because we will be releasing more soon. Make sure you join our Discord so you can communicate with us and keep up to date with what we're doing in the developers community. Our partner and affiliate program has officially rolled out. You can head to lumiastream.com slash join hyphen Lumia, or you can just head to our website and scroll all the way to the bottom where you'll see work with Lumia. We hope to see you around and join the community. There's so much to go over like Govi smart plugs, voice mod being a free thing, adding delays inside OBS events, but we have to end the video soon. So please check out our lumiastream.com slash releases link. And every link that we mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. We're glad you all joined the movement of lighting up your stream and we hope to see you around soon. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification because we will be posting more videos. And as always, have a luminous day.